माइक ऑन चलिए हाँ जी गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो वेलकम टू द क्लास नाउ लेट्स लेट्स यू नो स्टार्ट विद अ रियली इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक यूनिटरी मैथड सम पीपल कॉल इट चेन रूल ऑल्सो राइट और यू से चेन रूल and this is basic of arithmetic actually properly we call it basics right arithmetic basic right so for example one simple logic i want to discuss with you is i say 20 people complete a work in 100 days right 20 people finish a job in 100 days so one of them would do it in how many days Hundred by. See, see, this is the. That's the reason I tell you. Basics are so poor. See, twenty people in hundred days, one people in five days. So that one guy has to be Superman, Spiderman, Bahubali, Katappa, or something, right? Not possible. Our basic says teacher ne bachpan me bola. He said divide on the first step, and we just agreed. without even thinking rationally right see if 20 people can finish a job in 100 days so obviously one of them would do it in more number of days so we'll multiply it 100 into 20 days now where is the problem the problem is here 20 pence cost rupees 100 so one pen would cost Rupees hundred by twenty, which is rupee five. This is okay. Yes, this is called direct proportion. And for work, it is called indirect proportion. That is the reason you have been struggling. पहला divide नहीं करना है. Rationally सोचो. Twenty pence, rupee hundred. One pen definitely cost would be less than hundred. So we divide it. But twenty people, hundred days. One people, more number of days. Isn't it? So then we multiply. So this is called direct, right? And this is called indirect. In case of work, in case of people working, finishing the job, indirect method comes into play, and that is the reason you generally struggle. First clarity, write it, right? Please don't make this mistake. These are two dis different aspects. One direct, one indirect. Clear? clear okay now we are perfect with this i hope you are not going to make a same mistake now second thing see the work is done by people right obviously you want to you know become an ias officer ips officer you are going to work and there is a stipulated work isn't it stipulated work that you people do suppose uh, some of you or your parents would be industrialists some of them would be into farming some of them would be into contracting so they hire people and get the work done so have you ever asked them you know what is a unit for work do you know what is a unit for work joule would be of, uh, you know in physics but in terms of people hiring for contractual work what would be the unit for work from today onwards please keep this thing in mind unit unit for work right it's called man days right man days right what exactly is man days for a particular work man days for a particular work for a specific work would be number of men into number of days man days number of men into number of days clear all right so when i say when i say listen to me 
when i say 20 fin people finish a job in 100 days now i am specifically telling you this job requires 20 into 100 which is 2000 man days of work and definitely for a particular job for a particular job you know man days is constant man days is constant isn't it one work has to be finished now this work requires 2000 man days is it okay 20 people 100 days 20 into 100 2000 man days are required is it clear so if i change my question and i say you know 50 people would finish the same job in how many days 50 people would finish it in how many days so you would say sir let it be x days let it be x days so what would be the unit for work over here 50 times x man into days again and you said you said man days are constant which exactly means is 50 times x is equal to 2000 which means x is equal to 2000 upon 50 which is 40 days got my point so that is the reason i said man days is a constant quantity whenever there is a specific work you know the total amount of work is called man days and it is constant so once we know that 2000 units are to be created i can change men number of days would automatically change i can change days number of men would automatically change that is the reason your parents into agriculture industry contracting they know how many men they need how because they know what time duration is required. So they have a specific man day unit in their mind and it works like that. Is it clear to all of you now, guys? So you can make a note of it, please, if you want to make a note of it, why not? Because this is the basic. If you are good at basic, we will run away with success. Don't worry. It won't be a problem after that. So, after the class, you will get to meet Karan sir today. So, I have taken two classes. You would have next two classes for reasoning, right? Reasoning has to be good. And Karan sir would be here if you want to sit and discuss your problems, you can dis discuss with him, right? Reasoning would be taken by him. And uh, Sunday, there would be a class on RC. It would be taken by Ekta ma'am. All right. So we will do everything. Don't worry. Every sort of you know important uh, CSAT topics would be sorted out over. Right. Now we are clear with this aspect of man days, guys. Paka. Now lot of you ask shortcut tricks. So let's let's talk about point number one. M one men could finish of job in D one days right and m2 men could finish same job in d2 days so from today onwards from today onwards can i write m1 into d1 is equal to m2 into d2 so in your exam if you find this kind of question put value get your answer all right put the value get your answer isn't it so, Bola about 20 people in how many days? 100 days. 50 people in how many days? This is what he asked you. Isn't it? So, you say 20 into 100 is equal to 50 into D2. So, you mark this as M1. This as M, uh, D1. This as M2. And this as D2. So, the direct question can be easily sorted out here without any problem ho jayega clear guys all of you so i hope that in terms of work you won't mess out now first point is m1 into d1 is equal to m2 into d2 but then you know they also have that knowledge now all of you also know that barring you know ips police services where there are no particular hours otherwise you know everyone has a particular hour of work so they started putting hours also right so, this is the point number two. Have you written it, guys? 
राइट कीप ऑन राइटिंग एंड स्टॉप मी फ्रॉम टू फास्ट राइट लिख लो प्लीज कैन बी राइट इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पॉइंट नंबर टू ही सेज एम वन मैन फिनिश अ जॉब इन डी वन डेज वर्किंग टी वन आर्स पर डे now t1 hours per day so hours also come into play right and similarly this is m2 men finish same job see this is important same job in d2 days working t2 hours per day so one more component of hourly work comes into play in this case what would you write m1 d1 T1 is equal to M2 T2 T2. Shortcut number two. We'll do question on everything. I've got question for every every sort of formula that we are reading, we are doing it, and the slide show that I'm going to run would be sent to you by me. So don't worry. You want questions? We'll send it to you. All right. So questions would be with you, and notes are already with you. Right? Ye bhi clear hai. then you know the worst part was when the work component used to come you know what is work so if a road is being made the length of the road is the work if a well is being dug the depth of the well is the work if you know something is being made the number of items made would be the work if engine is running on coal then amount of coal consumed would actually be your work so work is something that would be given in the question itself right so you have to recognize it so let's talk about it can i proceed from here guys he says m1 men could finish could uh, you know finish or produce finish w1 units of work in d1 days so there is nothing called m1 men could do dw1 do nahi hota work is not doing work all right so produce or create or consume ho jayega ye word right so what is m1 men could finish w1 units of work in d1 days and m2 men could finish w2 units of same work same kind of work same work ye bahut important hai of same work in d2 days in d2 days now here is the difference right if work component comes into the question remember ninth class you know you had to write statement divide multiply divide multiply you know you left mathematics right i'm giving you shortcut for that m1 d1 by w1 is equal to m2 d2 by w2 work component would actually be divided work component would actually be divided you haven't missed anything write it start writing don't worry okay so again you should write what is work something that is being consumed or created isn't it work is something that is being consumed or created remember this clear hai jaldi to nahi kar raha main I just have a habit of you know running away sometimes when there is a time duration. So I hope everyone is understanding. किसी को निराशा नहीं होनी चाहिए बस, right? Sincerely, I believe in one fact. Okay? So चलिए, अभी ये clear है सबको, है ना? And the fourth component that again would come, may come, is M1 men producing W1 units in D1 days, working. T1 hours per day. The fourth component comes into play. I haven't seen it in UPSC, but state exam UPPCS. I've seen this. UPPCS is actually a better exam than UPSC sometimes because they are into core Ganit. Are you aware of it? They are into core Ganit also. Trigonometry they give that. Right. And then you know M2 men W2 units T2 days and T2 hours. per day 
right in this case remember m1 d1 t1 upon w1 is equal to m2 d2 t2 upon w2 if from today onwards you make mistake on this part that would be very shabby right these questions should not be left i can understand if he gives you technical question that i am going to sort out over here there are three four technical types that give they give you on unitary method and uh, you know chain rule but these four things should be sorted out properly is it okay chalo let's do some questions then lijiye question 1 in front of you do you want me to read it he says if 100 men could finish a job in uh, 20 days find number of days taken by 80 men to do it ha huh? 100 into 20 is equal to 80 into d2 take it as d2 always right so definitely your d2 comes out to be 100 into 20 upon 80 for 25 days pcs exam question easy data question over okay you clear hai? so easy second question you have to do by yourself let's see yeah how does this slide show work let me see hmm I am so poor sometimes I feel. Wait. Uh, wait, this one? This one? Koi fayda nahi hone wala, I say. I think I just uh, made a mistake in terms of. This confuses more than anything else. Isko aage kaise karna hai? स्लाइड शो तो लगा दिया मैंने दिस इज अ स्लाइड शो ओनली ओके ओके चल थैंक्स सो चलो व्हाट यू से ऑफ दिस वन गाइस सॉल्व दिस वन नाउ ही सेज 20 मेन वर्किंग 9 आवर्स अ डे कैन कंप्लीट अ वर्क इन 12 डेज राइट 12 डेज so in how many days would 15 men complete the same work working 6 hours a day 24 days baki log bhi batao mujhe come on everyone has to solve it twenty four ho chalo koi so it's actually m1 20 m1 20 into t1 9 hours into d1 12 is equal to then he says in how many days would 15 men 15 men d2 is what we need to find working six hours a day find d2 everyone can do it now i hope this is a good uh, you know logical tricks that we are sorting out now huh next hmm? okay is it working like this this one? Aise? Yeah, aise. Pehle to arrow ko karna hai. Okay. Chalo. Chalo. This is important. The question given to you now is important. This has given us such a pain that we have left mathematics. Isn't it? Come on. And don't bother about writing questions. I'm sending it to you. All right. By evening, it would reach you. This slideshow would reach you. Okay. 36. Dek le, check kar le. Calculation check kar le. Ek bar. And 
and I want everyone to do it. The purpose of this batch is this. Everyone has to solve it. Come on, do it. 360. Three sixty. Yes. Sir. So see this now. Please recognize this. Please recognize this. Thirty-two carpenters. M one. Make four hundred tables. Come on. This is W one. Work done. Right. In twenty-five days. D one. How many number of tables can be made by thirty carpenters? M two. In d2 days so working component is the missing component is work right so m1 32 into d1 25 upon w1 400 is equal to m2 30 into d2 24 upon w2 right and this comes in handy in many exams Every year or two year, you find this type of question in your paper. If you don't have this shortcut, so you go back to your ninth class, divide, multiply, divide, multiply, and you get damn confused. You don't have to be confused. So, what is W2 over here? 30 into 24 into 400 upon 32 into 25 comes to be 360 tables. Clear? Simple questions can be easily sorted out. I don't think that you should actually feel messed up on this part, but you should be knowing these things actually. Clear? Next, guys, shall we? Okay, guys, so this is the question number 3. Now, I have brought time also into it, right? So, time component also comes into play. Come on. And this is what I want you to do. The way, you know, somebody is writing, what about M1, D1, T1, Ekraf, right, upon W1. Come on. Don't bother about questions. I am going to give these questions to you by mail. So, don't write questions. Solve it, what about Good. 72. Good. Then, So, I think T1 component also comes into play over here. See, M1, let's, let's find out. Huh? M1, 19 men build a wall 36 meter long. This is W1. This is M1. Right. And then he says in 25 days, this is D1. And working 4 hours a day, this is T1. Right, then what is the length of the similar wall, which means he is asking about the work component, right. It can be built by 20 men, so M2, right, in 38 days, this is your D2, working 5 hours a day, this is T2. In CSAT also, there are 5 to 10 direct questions in the paper. So, you should not actually miss the direct questions, right? you should be knowing these fundas to hona hi chahiye na. So, in this case, definitely 19 into 25 into 4 upon 36 is equal to uh, 20 into 38 into 5 upon W2. And then you need to find W2 and you would realize 19 and 38, they get cancelled. Everything would get cancelled and you would get an integral answer. Kitna? 72. Everyone is getting it. All of you. Now, please don't miss out the boat and say, Abhi bhi chup nahi rehna hai, 72 meters. Right? This is your answer. So, till now, we have sorted out a real equal, you know, real uh, important uh, proportion where direct formula comes, you should be able to sort it out. But 
they have also started experimenting. They know you know the direct formulas, right? So now let's talk about you know what twist they can give. So comfortable for four formulas, four questions we have done. Sabko clear hai? All of you? Anyone having any problem? Good. Chala. So let's talk about this first. AR switch off or put it in a silent mode for children or at least have a good tone. Huh? What about this question? I have come in your paper. He says in a hostel 200 students have food available for 50 days. He says after 10 days 50 more students join the hostel. Remaining food would last for remaining men for how many days? I need an answer from your side. We are going to talk about this. Don't worry. Please take a good time and try sorting it out. Thirty-two days. Anyone else? Yeah, people on YouTube, I am able to watch you as well. Thirty-two days. Miri oh, Anyone else? Now see the technical issue comes over here, isn't it? This is where you struggle. So let's talk about it. You remember when we were in 9th, 10th class, we used to take total uh, total food provision to be 1. And we used to make fractions out of it. Uh, you don't remember it? That's good. You don't need to remember it. <laughs> Thank you. That actually works in my favor. Agar tumhe yaad nahi to, it works in my favor. Right. Now he says, uh, 200 students have food available for 50 days. So, total provision, total food exactly is 200 into 50 man days. Total itna consumable food tha for 200 men for 50 days. And I don't believe in even multiplying it, right? Don't bother about it. All right. Now, please see, after 10 days, so for 10 days, people were consuming. So, I say food consumed in 10 days. See, 200 students were there. For 10 days, they consumed 200 into 10 units. Clear? 200 into 10, itna consume ho gaya. Isn't it, guys? So, how much is left? Left. Food left is actually two, this minus this, 200 into 50 minus 200 into 10, right, would actually be 200 into 40. 8000 niklo, 10,000 minus 2000 is 8000, isn't it? 8000. Now, this 8000 units of Food would be consumed by how many people? See, 50 more students join in. So now, see, this is the consumed, uh, this is the food which is left, and it is to be consumed by 200 plus 50 more students for D1 days. For D1 days, 250 students have to consume this much of food for D1 days. So, D1 kitna ho jayega? How much would be D1? Right, it would be 200 into 40 upon 250. Once you solve it, it comes out to be 32 days. Somebody said that. 
32 days yes somebody said that right so question was the remaining food would last for remaining men so the remaining food was 200 into 48000 units and remaining men were 250 men so they consumed it in 32 days kindly note it once i'll change the question because i'm going to change the question very soon yes akeep to 32 days sudhanshu thank you 32 days abhi clear hai yes what did you not get it tell me so listen men given days given so total provision would be men into days 200 into 50 right and then you know for 10 days 10 days 200 men were consuming so 200 into 10 consumed kitna bacha hai dono ko minus kiya this comes out to be better this comes out to be 10000 and this comes out to be 2000 if you minus them both this comes out to be 8000 units abhi clear hai this 8000 units now 200 men were already there 50 more join in so 250 people have to consume this how many days 8000 into 250 right 32 days now question now see pehla was this the question was uh, remaining food for remaining men i can change the question and say total number of days in which the food was consumed what would be your answer now total number of days in which the food was consumed now 42 right right it this is right second part ठीक है टोटल नंबर ऑफ डेज द फूड वुड बी कंज्यूम्ड टोटल नंबर ऑफ डेज द फूड वुड बी कंज्यूम्ड वुड बी इक्वल टू 32 टू प्लस टेन राइट फोर्टी टू डेज सो इट कम्स इन टू पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट इज रिमेनिंग फूड फॉर रिमेनिंग मैन एंड द सेकेंड पार्ट सी इट इज एसेंशियल टोटल नंबर ऑफ डेज सो प्लीज कीप दिस थिंग इन माइंड दे कैन गिव एनी क्वेश्चन और राइट ना दिस वॉज वेन सर्टन नंबर ऑफ मैन केम i can change the question first of all have you written it guys all of you have you written it all of you chalo so i'm changing the question again what i'm doing is the question is same i say in a hostel 200 students have a food for 50 days after 10 days after 10 days this is i'm changing right after 10 days 100 students leave the hostel leave the hostel after 10 days 100 students leave the hostel right so i am uh, cancelling this also right so my question now changes i say after 10 days 100 students leave the hostel total number of days total number of days food would last now total number of days is what i'm asking come on 90 it has to be 90 see you guys have become experts hai na isn't it so i hope everyone is clear is it clear beta let's do it once more right so again see total now you actually listen you don't need to write anything matlab you don't need to write steps over here total was 2000 into 50 consumed was uh, sorry 200 into 50 consumed was 200 into 10 and now this is what is left we do it in a single line actually you guys can do it in a single line sir total provision was 10000 consumed in 10 days 2000 so this is left and this left food would now be consumed by 200 minus 100 men in d1 days isn't it so d1 comes out to be 80 days clear guys d1 comes out to be 80 days so total number of days pucha maine to previous 10 would be added previous 10 would also be added so total number of days jo hai it would actually be 90 days if you make a mistake after this class i'll personally come and kill you thank you so much a lot of people answering hakeem harsha harshita 
great rohan uh anchal great ha huh? so shall we proceed now so let me erase it first and i am just focused on one simple logic what has come in c set i am not doing anything extra over here you know pure concentration is what has exactly come in c set this is the same question that has come in uh, 16 or 17 ten men can finish a work in 10 days they start working together but after 4 days four men left the work the remaining work was finished by remaining men right find total number of days required to finish the job try right, try right, don't worry great akib this is one guy who is answering every question nee nee i uh, who said 14 i thought 40 years right Uh, Modi ji from uh, his office is saying, sir, please change color. Next time you won't find this color. Don't worry. People name themselves so beautifully. This is like Modi PM. <laughs> It's awesome, huh? Akib, give me your answer. Done. Forty. Now listen. Ten men can finish a job in ten days. So basically, what is the total work? Hundred units. Ten into ten. That is the hint that he is giving you. Boss, total work is hundred units. Ten men can complete it in ten days, right? Remember, men into days is really, really important, right? So total work, guys, ten men can finish a job in ten days. Ah, uh, uh, one, two, wait, wait. Now I have become kind of expert. Ten men can finish a job in ten days. So total work, ten into ten. This is total work. this is total work now please listen it is so easy he says they started working together but after four days four men left they started working together all 10 of them were working for four days all 10 of them were working for four days and after that four of them left the work and remaining work was finished in suppose day to days that is one supposition that you needed to have right where you say six people worked for d to days isn't it now listen to me this is 100 equal to 40 plus 6 times d2 which means 60 is equal to 6 times d2 which means d2 is equal to 10 right but what is the question find total number of days required to finish the job total number of days won't be 10 these are four more days over here So ten plus four, fourteen days. All right, not ten days. Total number of days he is asking you. He is not asking find number of days remaining work was done. He is saying total number of days required to finish the job. So it would be fourteen days. Is it clear now? Right. We have to add that previous four also because he was asking total number of days. Now tell me, guys. Doctor Pratik, very nice. Are we clear, sir? Is it clear? So this is the questions that they are putting on, right? Some people leave, some people join. So don't bother about it. The classic thing is that total work is given to you. Ten people in ten days, hundred units are to be made. All right. So I hope you won't mess on this part. And then comes the questions, which is called comparison question, guys. Right? Called comparison questions, where they give you comparison between men and uh, they give you comparison see this 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 is they are these questions are their favorite questions he says 
two men can finish a job in uh, 10 days and five women can finish the same job it is the finish the same job the same job in 8 days number of days required by one man and two women just try it once modi ji pm is saying that i should change my pen color okay i'll do that Twenty for both. इसमें ऐसा नहीं चलेगा ना. You have to have comparison between men and women. You have to have comparison between men and women. यार, come on, right? How many number of men is equal to how many number of? See, the question is saying one man and two women, and two women. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Men and women over in question they are working together. All right. That is the reason they put on this question again and again, time and again. Next question would again be previous year question. P Y Q will be. Okay, listen. Two men can finish a job in ten days. So this, uh, you know, total work, guys. Total work. How much? Ah, two into ten man days. And now you cannot be racist. It is like not that you know only men work. women are also working isn't it so you cannot say 20 man days only right man days but then you know second case what is total work again in case of women guys in case of women total work would be 5 into 8 women day yes yes this is what uh, red chalega ye white hai nahi idhar yaar yellow चलो ये लो देखते चेन्नई सुपर किंग राइट सर इज एज टोटल वर्क इज इधर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी मैन डेज अभी ठीक है और इक्वल टू फोर्टी वीमेन डे एंड दिस टोटल वर्क वुड गिव यू कंपैरिजन बिटवीन अ मैन एंड अ वुमेन और राइट विच मींस ट्वेंटी मैन डेज इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी वीमेन डे विच मींस वन मैन is equal to two women ye chahiye tha apne ko this is what we required all right one man is equal to two women clear hai ab now it is very easy listen he says number of days required by one man and two women ha huh? number of days required by one man and two women From here, you know, two women is equal to one man. So one plus one, which is equal to two men, right? And they have already given you two men finish a job in ten days. Your answer is ten days. So these are called comparison questions where you have to compare. If you want to change it into women, you can change it into women also. They go. either you have to change it to men or you have to change it to women right if you say one man and two women so one man is equal to two women two plus two four women so four women will do it in how many days when five women do it in eight days so no five women do it in eight days so five into eight is equal to yahan pe kitna aa gaya tha four women four into d2 so again your d2 would be 10 only answer would be same whether you change it into a men Or change it to a woman. Answer won't actually be different. So it is your choice. You should pick up an easier choice. All right. You have to make an easier choice. All right. Ten days. Great. Anjal Malik. Good. Arshita Mishra. Great. Hakib. I'm a fan. Huh? <laughs> Hakib Bond a fan. Janam Rai. Thank you so much. So. Shall we proceed now? So, abhi clarity hai thoda sa, hai na? Now we won't mess up with men, women, and children wala questions. So, I'm raising it again, guys.
लीजिए हाउ वुड यू डू दिस यूपीएससी क्वेश्चन ही से टेन वुमेन टेन मैन कैन फिनिश अ जॉब इन फाइव डेज फिफ्टीन वुमेन कैन फिनिश द सेम जॉब इन फोर डेज ट्वेंटी फाइव बॉयज कैन फिनिश द सेम जॉब इन ट्वेल्व डेज हाउ मेनी डेज वुड फोर मैन फोर वुमेन एंड सिक्स बॉयज फिनिश द सेम जॉब कमन डू इट ना ये सब करके दिखाएगा मेरे को लोकेश प्रणाम थैंक यू सो मच गैस एक्चुअली येलो इज रियली लुकिंग गुड है ना सी एस के इज कमिंग बैक ना विद माही बताओ Nazia good evening i hope everyone is good guys equal kar dena you would find men and women and children to be equal kitna men is equal to kitna women is equal to kitna children that is what you require na right All right. Now listen. Ten men can finish a job in uh, five days, right? So ten into five man days is equal to fifteen women can finish the job in four days. Fifteen into four women day is equal to twenty-five into twelve boy days. Huh? Now this is what you require to do. so capacity wise work capacity see men women and boys work capacity would be same but the work would be different but work is same so the comparison of work capacity would give you comparison between men women and children or men women or boys right so now you see this is 50 men as equal to 60 women is equal to how much would be this 300 boys right so you can think of this as one man is equal to see there is nothing else that you should do i think you should compare 50 men equal to 300 boys right one man is equal to six boys right and similarly compare this with this 60 women is equal to 300 boys so one woman would be equal to five boys Now, what was given in your question? He says five four men plus four women plus six boys. So four men would be equal to twenty four boys. One man is equal to six boys. Four men would be equal to twenty four. I'm writing four men would be equal to twenty four boys. Right? I'm writing twenty four boys over here plus four women. so four women would actually be equal to 20 boys plus 20 boys plus six boys comes out to be how much 50 boys so is asking 50 boys would do the same work in how many days when 20 boys were finishing the job in 12 days right 25 men boys were finishing the job in 12 days 50 boys in how many days definitely 6 days ho jayega half the days more the boys half the work or you can do that m1 into d1 or or if you are getting confused right not everyone na 25 boys in 12 days so 50 boys suppose you say in d2 days so m1 into d1 is equal to m2 into d2 kar do right you shall be able to get your answer so this is 25 into 12 is equal to 50 times d2. So d2 comes out to be 25 into 12 upon 50, six days. Guys, is yours? Six days. So not uh, many can actually give answer over here, right? See, UPSC question. So I don't think they're giving anything tough. I think you need to touch everything. The problem is you have not touched it. ऐसा नहीं है कि दे आर गिविंग यू टोटली डिफरेंट थिंग और दे वॉन्ट मैथमेटिशियउट ऑफ इट प्रॉबेबली लॉट ऑफ इंजीनियर्स आर ऑल्सो फेलिंग दिस एग्जाम राइट 
सो ऐसा नहीं है कि यू नो दैट्स अ मिथ दैट दिस इज मोर इन टू यू नो इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स आवर कंट्री हैज फ्लड ऑफ इंजीनियर्स एवरी ईयर सो डोंट डोंट यू थिंक दैट इट्स नॉट इन टू इंजीनियरिंग नाउ डोंट वरी दे हैव डन एनी कोर्स वेयर लाइक दिस आफ्टर द टेंथ लाइक यू और लाइक देर इज नो कोर्स वेयर इन इंजीनियरिंग ऑल्सो इन इलेवन ट्वेल्थ ऑल्सो so there is no mathematics 11th 12th ka that comes in the paper as well right so is it clear now guys sabko samajh mein aa raha hai everyone chalo good i know you are tired ha huh? this is uh, you know you are being trained to become an officer you know that once you become an officer don't ever think that life would be easy there are no working hours yes good officers genuinely don't have working hours i know this we have been training since you know inception of csa 2011 lot of officers know us they don't have time really so if you think that you need to relax probably this is not a job you should actually opt for <laughs> right guys what about this now or comes into play yes good anchal gaurav krishna no now or comes into play hmm yes or ye it is or only well i have this is not a wrong question <laughs> all right and this is a state exam question now if or is given which means it is directly it is actually directly directly giving you reference isn't it that comparison is direct so or is given which means you should be happy actually if or is given now listen three men or six women no no i'm waiting no issues no issues <laughs> if or is given to you in that case there is a direct comparison right he is directly telling you three men is equal to six women right which means one men is actually equal to two women so this is a direct direct comparison given to you so feel blessed if or is given to you all right don't feel feel uh, tensed if or is given to you right so three. then <laughs> here three i don't know the answer let's see right then he says three men work a, or six women complete work in 16 days now question he says 12 men and eight women so now i'm going to convert it into women just for the sake of respect of all the women around the world had women been ruling this world there would not have been wars like the war going on isn't it <laughs> huh <laughs> isn't it only thing could have been the jealousy between two borders rather nothing else they could not have been fighting they could have sorted it out over the dinner isn't it <laughs> so girls stand up and become the world leaders please the innocent ch children are being killed and we only think about humanity you know men are suffering women are suffering children are suffering what about animal suffering our forests that are suffering right what about our mountain suffering what about rivers that give us water suffering so if you objectively go out of humanity then you would see that wars actually is not good for our environment itself right so what do you say of this now 12 men and 8 uh, women 1 man is equal to 2 women 12 men is equal to 24 women so 24 women plus 8 women comes out to be 32 women so now let's talk about question he says six women finish a job in 16 days right so 32 women would finish it in how many days so 6 into 16 upon 32 yes somebody was right 3 days absolutely right right so this is it for unitary method and chain rule see how easy it is now you don't even need to go home and revise it 
I'll send you the questions. All of you have booklets with you? Kindly get the booklets from outside. Please get it. There is a chapter called Unitary Method and Chain Rule, right? Now, uh, Karan sir is here. Karan sir is going to take your reasoning class tomorrow and day after. So, he is also here, right? Karan, come. Masks to utar there. Gone are the days, right? So, he would be taking your reasoning classes, right? So, tomorrow he would be taking a class. If you have any problem for today's class, you can ask Karan, right? So, thank you so much. God bless you all. Stay positive. Stay safe. I won't waste your time, don't worry. I'll start at 5.30, finish at 6.30, right? Do, you don't need to go home and study now, right? Enjoy and chill. God bless you all. Take care. Thank you so much.